Hawthorne and Gus Hall both looked like healthy for the first game. You also had Ben Jackson, which uh, gave us your thoughts following the game. Um, not even close to our to our best tonight. Uh, really slow start. Uh, lack of sense of urgency. Uh, offensively, defensively, across the board. Yeah, I thought she she came in the game, was able to give us a, a really good spark um, defensively. She she's a great defender, um, so she was able to force some turnovers, uh, was able to speed them up, cause some havoc, uh, and was was able to convert uh, on the other end and get into the basket. Coach, you guys started the game in a zone. Um, obviously, the first quarter was not your favorite, but then the second quarter, New Hampshire only allowed four points in the entire quarter. What, what did that switch mean to you? Yeah, we, we felt like we could play some more zone in this game. Um, but when we got down there, we weren't able to sit back in the zone. We had to be able to push up. We had to force them into some quick shots and miss some turnovers. Um, and so we pulled out of it a bit here and there, uh, spurts of the zone, um, but had to get out of it once once we were down. Um, Coach, obviously on, on, on offense, you, you seem to kind of have a hard time throughout the game getting things going, especially in the second and third quarter. You were limited to – under 10 points, what would you have liked to see today that didn't happen? Yeah, in the first quarter, for sure, we weren't getting stops. And, and when we're having to take the ball out of bounds, um, every possession, go against the pressure, come down, we weren't able to execute as well as we wanted to. Um, when we were able to get some stops, um, we, we just got rattled. We allowed the pressure to, to hinder us a bit. We turned the ball over way too many times. Um, and we don't have the possessions. We, we didn't get up the, the number of shots that we needed to get up. Um, and, our, and our execution and our discipline offensively just wasn't there. Coach, only one scorer in double figures today for you guys, and that being Sir Alianza. Um, talk about sort of how the, how the offense, you know, what can you do going forward to get everybody going, especially with defense that was pressuring you guys outside the three point line? Yeah, we, we, it's a sense of urgency. We, we've got to be able to play with a sense of urgency. We've got to be able to control pace and control tempo, um, and we've got to take care of the ball. Uh, if, if we're able to do those things, we'll see uh, more points on the board and, and more people in double figures. Coach, on a positive note, you've had Zyena Swint lead the Pride defensively with 12 rebounds and three blocks, collecting them all for Pride herself. Thoughts on her and how she can be such a defensive force for her next few games? Yeah, she's a she's a great defensive paint presence for us. Um, she's able to alter some shots in there. She's able to uh, force some tough buckets. Um, she she was able she she may have been able to have twenty rebounds, right? And we look at the, the sense of urgency that we could play with, but the the twelve that she came up with were crucial. We need it. Um, she's able to come up with four offensive rebounds, which uh, converted to some points as well. And so uh, we got to continue to keep her on the boards. I just saw Emma over there. Yeah, she was able to come back. She was fine. Coach, only four of 22 from uh, three-point range tonight. What was it more of what uh, Hampton's defense was you know, not allowing the, the shots or the shots were coming? Uh, they were a bit rushed because of the pressure. They were a bit rushed. Um, I, I think we, we didn't take them with as much composure and poise, um, feeling as though we needed to take them prior to the defense uh, recovering. Uh, and when we take that, I, I also thought a lot of them were not as in rhythm. Um, yeah, we like to get downhill, be able to drive and kick. A lot of them were off just one pass or, or off the dribble. Um, being able to get that ball inside out sets us up for a better percentage from the three-point line. Yeah, we've got to regroup. It's our last one at home. I, I, I would – I would not want us to have another performance like tonight um, on our home floor in front of this home crowd. We, we've got to show that we are a better basketball team than this, and, and we are. And so we've got, we've got a day to regroup, a day to prepare in a way that is going to um, help us uh, be competitive. Um, and then that, that preparation is, is everything to the game on Sunday. Thank you.